Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Planet Zoo career mode. We're here in Maple Leaf uh, Zoo and we've got some uh, uh, macaques coming in. We've got a boy and a girl to up the social number, hoping that uh, they all keep themselves happy. Let's have a look. There we go, Miki is in. Social group needs, still needs to be higher. Let's have a look. Oh, I think this last one should do it. Here she comes. Michia. Our Japanese macaque. I'm hoping that when you go down, our uh, group size should be acceptable. Let's have a look. Social group. It's in the green. Okay, so maybe actually another, another one would do. But uh, actually, it's in the green. So, okay, first of all, let's pause the game. Thank you again for feedback. One of the uh, the main things was actually, why the hell have you just used half an island? I, I don't know, really. I just The path was here, I guess, and I've just gone in a straight line to get over to here. You are right. Uh, probably, uh, well, there's a few things you could have done. You could have taken uh, the path all the way around and had the old island to them. You could have had a boat go around and have the whole island in the middle to them, similar to the um, Longleats. There's some, they're not macaques, but there's a there's a type of... Uh, Lima or something on an island in Longleat when a boat goes around them. Uh, you could have had the exhibit go up and over the top of them. You could have had the path higher so they could come underneath. All of these things um, could be done. And I hope I hope you uh, you realise that in a in a more creative setting, I would have taken the time to think about stuff like that. But here we're a little bit more focused on uh, getting. I, I will do that at least uh, to make it, oh to make it so uh, getting stuff done. You know as far as uh, the the game mechanics are concerned and the, and the sort of management aspects and getting these stars really that's that's what the focus is here a creative uh, building that's what's coming from our uh, our sandbox series or our one off builds and things like that uh, but there still is uh, stuff to do one of which is once again I've forgotten donation boxes I have actually um now written down a list in front of me food water donation education because they are the things I miss every single time I haven't even got any in here look people are waiting to throw money at me here and I haven't given the option to and then obviously we don't we don't have any here in the macaques I do worry that this path is going to get a little busy but let's put a couple of them down as well. Um, fencing on the path here is a very good idea. What we'll actually do is just turn on um, railing on um, elevated. There we go. Railing on elevated. Oh, uh, let's keep it to wood though. There we go. Just use the in-game railings. That's fine as far as I'm concerned. Up to there. Obviously, we've got our own railing on the bridge. As we come down there. There we go. That's better. Okay, I think that was everything that I wanted to cover from uh, from feedback in the last episode. So thank you very much for that. I really do appreciate the feedback. And like I say, I hope you uh, you realise that uh, the focus is just a little different in this series as it is to uh, to some of the uh, more uh, sandboxy stuff that we've got on the channel. Uh, right, so where are we up to? We need another three animals. Okay, so I would like to do a kind of plains area. Oh, well, like a, well, yeah, I suppose it is a plains area here, isn't it, really? We're in... It's meant to be in cannons at this one. Um, so, let's see. Is there three animals that will go in a plane? So, we have the American bison. I mean, that is that is your obvious one, right? So, American bison are going to be happy with pronghorn. That's it. They're the, they're the two American plane animals that we have. So, if we can get both of those, um, and then maybe like a wolf. So, we've got sable... There's no pronghorns, so we might have to go the other. We might have to go African with it. Well, it's really tricky, right? We've got timber wolves, we've got snow leopards, and we've got grizzlies. They they will all deal with the colder weather better. So it does mean us doing three exhibits, but maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's what we do. So let's get a snow leopard in then. Um, who's got better stats? Neither of you really. Um, you've got better. We want the longevity to be higher, really. We don't want people. We don't want them dying. Uh, timber wolves, we'll get a boy and a girl timber wolf. These actually aren't too bad stats, so we'll say a boy and a girl timber wolf. Uh, and then grizzlies, let's have a look at grizzlies. Or we could do a, what's the other bear? We could do a formerson, we haven't done one of those yet. Um, yeah, there we go, let's do, oh no, you're, let's not use up all of our leaves, let's get you. There we go. Right, so they're the three we're going to do. I was going to do like a, a thingy over here, but I'm thinking snow leopard, uh... Snow leopards probably don't mind the water. It's very difficult to know. 
Uh, wolves obviously don't, and, I, and bears obviously don't. I'm not too sure about snow leopards. But either way, we're going to put one of them here. It is going to make this very busy, I, I won't lie. Um, but it's what I'm going to go with. And then we've got space for maybe one here. And then we might, and then we'll finish up with one over here, and that's going to be our three. And then we don't have to. It would have been nice to come up here, but it's just how it goes. Again, you know, the focus here is more on getting the exhibits done um, than actually sort of making the best, the possible most attractive. Because there's all this lovely space up here. Look, that would have been great, but uh, yeah, the, my focus is a little different here in this series. Right. So here, I want, um, I want a snow leopard. So. Let's kind of mirror what we have here. Um, water wise, uh, exhibit wise, what's it called? Fence wise. Um, and a mirror what we've got there with that, obviously, drag it up. Hello? I don't. Hello? Hello? I don't know what's happened there. What? what? Edit barrier. There we go. Let me try that again. Select you. Raise you up. There we go. That was weird. Um, so, I mean, it's, it seems sensible to have the same sort of height there. It doesn't have to be exact. All right. So, I'm going to try and null it. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a go at null barrier. I just don't know about the snow leopard. We will soon find out, I suppose. I don't think there's a way of finding out before you've placed the animal into the thing, though. That's the only real issue there. Um, now, do we try and get a path under here for staff? Let's have a look. Problem is here is that the, the terrain uh, doesn't conform, so you're really kind of stuck with with what it'll let you do. I mean, it, it does tell me it's gonna it's gonna be okay there, but we're not gonna be able to get path under there because it's too close to the bridge and I'm not rebuilding the bridge. So, I mean, that would be perfect, I think. But, it, but the, no, no, it doesn't wanna, obstructed by water volume. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do is kind of like what we've done on, um, on, on the other side. So structure some of the uh, the habitat. You're not even connected, are you? Edit habitat. Some of the habitat we're going to have to structure to. Um... Why are you not already connected? Have I already got rid of you? Right. Okay. There we go. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Panel too long. Okay, well, how about that then? And then we should be able to take you. No, all right. Let's do that then. Is that okay? Bring that down to there. Bring you in. Oh, I think we might have to add one in there that we can pull out. There we go. So as not to cause an issue there. This is, of course, if all the water holds the actual thing in. I just don't know yet. Okay, so now we can select all of that. Bring it up a bit. Oh, it's a wonky. Oh, and then we need to make you wood as well, just to kind of... Oh. To kind of keep you all tied in. Oh, whatever that'll do. Okay, so let's see. Is that a habitat now? Right. Oh, I can't. Well, I'm not seeing the blue light. Oh, because they're right down there. Look. Okay, so that is all connected, isn't it? All right. So let's bring a path out. Awesome. Awesome staff path that we're going to have here. That's going to look so realistic and amazing. Boom. Oh man, I'm doing some classy work here. Please, if you, this is the first video you're finding of me, please go and check out one of my sandbox series. <laughs> it's so much better than this. 
<laughs> right, okay. Let's um let's move our uh, Timur 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 Timur. I wanna say Timur. But that could be completely wrong. Okay, let's speed it up. Because the big question here is gonna be whether or not the water holds the snow leopard in. I just don't know whether snow leopards swim or not. Some big cats do, some big cats don't. So I just don't know with the snow leopard. But we could easily find out. We click here and we look at traversable. Uh, yeah, yeah, it can swim. Okay, great. So that means we're going to have to basically enclose the whole thing in glass or something. I don't really want to do wood. And seeing as we're not particularly fussed on being realistic, let's just make the whole thing a big glass box. Um, boom. And that little tiny bit there as well. I think. Thanks. Snow leopard in the glass box. Snow leopard. Uh, let's see how you feel about that. Play the game for a second for it to update. Beautiful. You're now trapped. So, is that, uh, interestingly, if I did have terrain, uh, uh, just, uh, just making that as more of a cliff would have worked. Look, because she can't... Um, uh, he can't, excuse me stop there you see so if we'd have just made this more of a cliff face you you would have actually been able to keep on keep him on an island uh welfare is actually pretty good overall uh social happy on their own so habitat terrain is going to be a little off so let's fix some of that first way too much long grass nowhere near enough um rock or snow it does need snow okay that's interesting i thought you could get away without snow on this uh little one but maybe not but mostly, yeah, you're, you're, it's going to be a, a rock thing, this one, isn't it? Okay, there we go. So we'll do some smooth rock to break that up a bit. Some, a little bit of light soil. Uh, still too much long grass. Uh, we could. So really, we want to do we want to do the rock all around the outside, don't we? Okay, there is. I mean, there is. Like, let's just do that because there is no long grass there. You're claiming there is, but there really isn't. I hope that's not affecting them too much. Okay, rock, uh, soil, we can have a bit of. Let's have a bit of heavy soil. Let's just break that up on that side. And then, obviously, we need snow. At the minute, I don't think it's cold enough for snow. But because the game's paused, we can put it in. Oh, no, no, no. It is It is going away. Um, okay, so we need to come to one of them coolers. Where are you? Oh, it, habitat, isn't it? There we go. Coolers and heaters. Cooler. Can you keep it cooler than you are? Let's just drop it out of the way so we can't see it. Okay, let's unpause the game. Speed it up and see that snow appear. There we go. Boom. Is that enough snow for you? Yeah, just about. So as long as that cooler works, there's your snow. Okay, you don't have any... Uh, no reference to climbing. Oh, okay. I thought they did climb a bit, but we'll maybe give you a little bit of climbing. Don't want any any coverage at all, but we need to put some in there because otherwise you are living on a big stone rock, which is no good. So Asia Tiger, um, that leaves us not much, to be honest, I don't think. Asian Tiger. Let's have a look. Oh, no, we've got some nice... Oh, we've got the same sort of stuff as them. They kind of go together there, right? That's good. Okay. Now, the problem is, is that we're going to be able to do like three clicks of this. Look at that, 3%. 3%. 5%. 5 maybe a Himalayan pine over here. Maybe maybe get away with one more. 12%. Ooh. Um, I mean, that is, that is it, isn't it? That is it. I'll tell you what, then. We'll put some climbing in, and then we can maybe do a little bit of, like, crowberry and... Uh, uh, maybe something else. Oh, here are twin flower. Yeah, there we go. We got some nice flowers in there at the bottom of the climbing. So, uh, all here we go. Okay, so I'm not going to go crazy with this. It's more to give them like just like a slightly raised area than actual sort of necessity for climbing. Just to give a bit of variation. Oh, and we've got rocks as well, right? We can place um. We can place rocks in. Let's get these on a grid. Uh, let's get these on a group, sorry. To help us out. There we go. Yeah, rocks. I think rocks, to be honest with you, they they kind of save the day. 
really, because they um, very often can can create some really fun uh, options when you're struggling to fill it out with foliage. Okay, um, let's do a two by one down here. There we go. Actually, we'll put it on a bit of an angle. Why not? Let's go jaunty. That a lot of people think is my name anyway, so we might as well. I get so many emails to Jaunty. Who's called Jaunty? I mean, really. Who's called Jaunty, to be honest, but you know. Who's called Jaunty? There we are. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that we need to do a little bit of uh, scoop up here. I'd never assume that they can climb anything, because they, uh, they very often can't. So I'm going to make sure they've got lovely ways up all over the place. There we go. And it's not necessarily a climbing thing. It's more of a just here's a here's a cool space for you to, to move between. So actually, we can get rid of that. I just want to duplicate that a little way. Whether or not he'll actually use it, I don't know. But I kind of like the idea of having another one of these a little off with the possibility to sort of jump, jump in between them. And then we'll place some bedding down on these as well. Oh, hard shelter. That's I think they I think um you are gonna need hard shelter, aren't you? Let's have a look. Yeah, hard shelter. So um I, I, I mean really we, we could do a we could do a rock cave actually. We haven't done one of those for ages. It won't look very good because we're we're not really taking um we haven't really got the time to do it. Because it's it's gonna look it's gonna use this stuff. Which which can look good, this cladding sort of rock, but You've really got to put the time in with it. Um, because if you don't, it looks like... Well, it just looks a bit too man-made, I guess, is the, is the problem. So, again, always be grouping. It's really going to be helping out with this sort of stuff. Um, let's see if we can sort of cheat, cheat this into quickly producing a cave. There we are. The only real problem you've got there is the is the sort of repetition of the pieces. So I mean, you you can sort of come in and throw a through few of them around. It's going to help. Okay, um, and then some larger bobbies down the back here, sort of filling that gap there, and just to sort of help it transition into the. Uh, into the ground a bit better and then we can come in with some big boys and fill in all of these gaps and that's kind of it I mean it's it is gonna be a simple structure but it should do the job and not look horrific it looks kind of horrific but whatever's whatever's let's take that down there might have to move that one tree but that's something I'm willing to do. Get me, I'm not afraid to work. Uh, okay. Maybe maybe that's it. Maybe one of these in there. So gotta break up. Kind of a bit weird that we've got snow on the inside of it, but let's just say it's drifted. And then we can put some more bedding down interior. There we go. You don't need this down, by the way. Just gives them an idea of where they can sleep. Um, I said a few people say you need to put bedding down for 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 hard shelter to be recognised. You don't. They'll find it. Um, the hard shelter just sort of suggests where they can sleep. Okay, so that's hard shelter done. All the paintings done. We should have pretty decent welfare here, even without enrichment. We've got pretty decent health welfare, which is pretty good. What's your social here? Animal is calm. So that's probably just because there's about three hundred people here staring at them. So. I mean, the obvious thing to do actually would be to take this cave and turn it around, but I won't do that. Instead, we'll spend a bit of time on some rocks here, and basically this is... The, the way the game works, it's really quite an intelligent system actually, um, is it, it works through line of sight. So the animals can basically, they, they sort of cast out beams from a programming 
standpoint this is by the way we haven't got laser beam animals in this game unfortunately um the uh, <laughs> what the animals do is so from where they are they cast out beams like choo, 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 to wherever there's a pair of eyes on a guest and the number of that is is dependent on their on how much on how stressful they are so what you have to do is provide them spaces where they can get away so they've got so now this one here will have all this space that it can get around i'm pretty sure anyway let's have a look with some traversable uh, stuff. Traversable area. Mm. Okay, so it should be able to jump around here a bit. Yeah, it should be able to jump around here if they want to. But then also you can get down here behind, you know, and sort of curl up. In fact, let's let's even promote that with some bedding. So if we put some bedding in there, that's going to give a, give him a space that he knows he can come and kind of get away from the majority of... Um, over eye line. In fact, if we have some sort of bush, or do we? Or do, well, we could risk another spruce. There, that's going to really give you some nice um, thingy. But I've got a feeling that might have pushed over. Oh no, we're we're still good. We're still good. Okay. Oh, but the, we shouldn't have a black spruce, of course. I keep thinking we're in America, but uh, but the animal isn't. The animal is uh, is Asian. But there will be something similar to that, right? Oh, there's those ones, Himalayan pines. I suppose another Himalayan pine will go. There we go. And I'm pr where are you? Oh, you've already jumped up here. Look at that. Aren't you good? Um, so coverage. I mean, you're right on the cusp. I would love to be able to get a few bits of um, stuff like this in I, I the look the the good thing here is i don't think it really counts too much to um to the coverage percentage there you know like down here where it's it's like a little tricky for the the get the staff to kind of get in and clean out and stuff you'd get this sort of mossy mossy growth we are actually up to 16 percent there but i think that's quite good let's see if we can get like um one of these low lying in like a bush, like a, quite a sparse bush. Oof, we are pushing it here. I'm genuinely clicking with the fear of God in me. What about one of them up the side of the rock? That looks good, doesn't it? Some more cow bush that will be that will be covered in snow after it snows. It's going to look a little hard at the minute, but when because we get snow quite a bit here, basically it means that this snow will stay for some magical reason. Uh, all right, I'd, I'd say that's pretty spot on. Again, we need to... The welfare's gone down. Why is the welfare gone down? Is it just because of that stress? Let's see. Let's see if that stress goes up. Stress should be... Go yeah, there you go. Basically, he's going to find spots where he can go and get out of the way. But also, he will come and sit on these platforms and look pretty gorgeous. Hey pal. Oh, you're a majestic beast. And there you go. And there's yeah, a lot of a lot of people coming and looking at you here. So the stress level will go down as um as he kind of hangs out there. We've had a matured pea fowl. Is that you? You don't adult? Yeah, okay. Off you pop then. See you later. Okay. Right, so there we go. Snow leopard. Snow leopard. Whenever I say snow leopard, I think a tree wizard. I don't know why. And and there will be some British fans here on the channel who will know what tree wizard is. Tree wizard. Back from the dead to create some balloons. Um, genuinely one of my favourite pieces of TV <laughs> I think I've ever seen was tree wizard. <laughs> Right, I think I'm going to call this one done. It's a slightly shorter episode, but there's not real much point in me starting the next one. And I know I'm taking my... I, I, I feel like I'm rushing, but in general, I'm actually kind of taking my time with these episodes, really. My original plan was to have, like, every zoo done in, like, two episodes, but um, I think it's actually a testament to the game. that It's it's actually pretty tricky. There's a lot to do. The, you know, the gold, silver, and... got to remember some of the Planet Coaster ones. You'd fly through them. You'd be done in 20 minutes. Uh, but here, there's actually there's actually quite a lot going on, and that's uh, that's only a good thing, right? I'm actually quite enjoying the uh, enjoying the challenge. It just it makes a bit of a change from 
spending hours on rock work as he as he spends hours on rock work uh you know spending time on on uh, detailing and stuff it's nice to see some kind of, and actually play the video game that's not something we do very often here on the channel uh, right i'm gonna call snow leopard done snow leopard okay and uh yeah so next one then we'll do so we've got grizzlies or or, or we might do a form 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 former and form oh no we've already bought them haven't we what have we got former and bear so we've got former and bear and timber wolf so i'm gonna say former and bear here although he will want water so we might have to bring some water here i suppose actually we can turn some of this staff path into a guest path maybe do a little loop around or something and then just have that this bit of staff here uh we will have to oh now I've just thought of something else we didn't do, and I bet people have been shouting at me. I'm sorry if you have. We don't have screens, habitat information boards. We don't have any of these up for either monkeys or bears. So let's come in and uh, put a couple of them in. Oh, have I really placed that that far out, or is it on an angle? It's on an angle. Right, Japanese macaque on this side. Right. Turn it around. On this side. Now the problem is here is we might... Oh man, this is a busy path. This is probably not going to be great. But we're, we're going to work with it now. Snow leopard. And another snow leopard one over here. Now I can't... I don't think I'm going to be able to put speakers down, right? Because I'm sure it said that if speakers overlap... They they get they get in a mess. Educational speaker. I suppose if we put one this side and one this side, yeah, and make you about snow leopards and you about macaques. There we go. And then just sink them in, and then they're they're out of each other's way, and donations will come in down the busiest path in the world ever that's just bad design from my part to be honest um oh hello did i make did i make too many crazy changes sorry about that there you go you go and hang out you're all good yamu yamu yashnu timor not even close right there we go i'll leave it there um i'll set up keeper and stuff off camera because i think we might share we might change this into a guest path we could even take the guest path right around the back here to, to limit some of the traffic here uh yeah suggestions on the postcard please thanks for watching see you in the next one be good